So today we're going to test out three hard drives. One, the one on the right here, is a Hitachi HTS 53-32-25L 250 gig hard drive at 5400 RPM, that's rounds per minute, and it has no cache in it whatsoever. The next one we're going to test is going to be a Seagate Momentus XP, XT 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's got four gigabytes of SSD, which is important for, for uh, writing time and reading time on this hard drive. And it's got a 7200 RPM uh, motor in it. And it also has no cache. Lastly, we're going to test out a crucial 250, 250 gig SSD. Uh, RPM is not, ap not applicable because this is a solid state drive and uses internal memory only. And it also has no cache. We're going to be testing this today on a Lenovo G530 laptop. Uh, it's got a Core 2 Duo at 2.1 gigahertz, and it has 3 gigs of RAM. Okay, at this time we have the Hitachi uh, drive inside the laptop, and we're going to continue to test our boot up times. I do not have a, a timer that I'm able to put in this camera. However, previous to this boot up, I did time it out. And uh, what we're going to notice here is that for the Windows 7 load, uh, it's going to take 33 seconds to boot into Windows. Now, right here I have a, uh, I have a boot up because I do dual boot into Linux. Right now I have Windows 7 loaded. I'm about to hit enter and start our boot timer. Now the time to boot from, from here until I get the login screen is approximately 33 seconds from my timing at when I put this on. So we'll wait for this to boot up. Okay, so here we are at the boot up screen. This is where I would stop my timer at. Log in here. And from this point on, I'm gonna, I would restart the timer. And as soon as I get the screen up, I'm going to start Google as soon as I have it available. And from the time from boot up to Google, I have 56 seconds it takes. So here we go. So it takes approximately half the time to get into Windows and the other half the time to get up to Google. And this is using the latest version of Firefox. So we're waiting. There we go. And we are into Google. So this is our initial hard drive. This is a Hitachi. HTS 54325L. This is a typical example of what you would get in any laptop, uh, including Dells and what have you. Um, so we're going to stop this now. We're going to shut this down and uh, we're going to test out the, Se the Seagate hybrid drive next. Okay, we're back. Right now we're uh, testing out the Seagate Momentus XT 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it's got a 4 gig SSD front end for it and a 7200 RPM hard drive. I will say that this is extremely disappointing. This, uh, this hybrid hard drive is anything but. Um, even with its specs that it's got a 4 gig SSD and a 7200 RPM drive, uh, I'm finding that it's got an extremely slow load time of 54 seconds from boot up into Windows. And then it continues on and it takes a full minute and 25 seconds to get into Google after your login here. So uh, it looks like we're about ready to get our login screen hopefully here. And I will log in. As soon as we get an available screen here, we'll fire up Google. All 
All right, Google's fired up. All right, and stop time. Actually, this video I got a minute and 38 seconds total. But uh, I guess it was including a couple of seconds before boot up time. But uh, actually, what I've what I've timed it out as it took uh, 54 seconds to get to the login screen, and it took a total of a minute and 25 seconds to get Google up, including the boot up and login time. So uh, obviously, the uh, the Seagate SSD hybrid drive is not a solution, and uh, we'll now stop and go on to the crucial SSD drive. Okay, so now we're going to start up the uh, the crucial SSD 250 gigabyte hard drive. This is a solid state drive, and uh, it's fully up to date. This is the uh, the crucial CT 256M4 model, which I just purchased last week. Um, again, this is this has got a Linux boot up as well. I know the uh, the Seagate one did not. Uh, that's because the imaging process I did took it out. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, select Windows 7, boot it up, and I uh, hope you guys are counting because this is giving me an 11 second boot up time. That is uh, approximately one third of the uh, Hitachi, which was 33 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Now I apologize if I'm a little shaky on the screen. I'm going to do this one-handed and get this pointer ready for Firefox as soon as possible. All right, it's fired up. And I want the Firefox to get to Google. It's a total of 26 seconds from boot up to Google. Um, our closest one so far is 56 seconds. And that's, again, with the original Hitachi. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and I'll come back to summarize. Okay, I'm here with Mike Jones. He's here. he's the uh, engineer for McKellar Corporation. Um, he typically works with, with AutoCAD on a frequent basis. Um, he's got a uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, four core Intel i5 processor with four gigs of RAM on it. Um, he has a standard hard drive in here and uh, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to time uh, his AutoCAD load and uh, so Mike why don't you go ahead and fire up AutoCAD what you're going to notice here is a load time uh, that's that's over a minute what, what are we timing it Mike? one minute nine seconds one minute and nine seconds to load up AutoCAD on a, uh, on a fairly up-to-date machine. And there you see it loaded now. And uh, soon it will be up over here on the left screen when it fully loads. Okay, I think we're almost through this process here. Okay, we're up. All right, now Mike, if you can open up a open up a file, 
Again, although these these drawings really don't take a, a whole heck of a lot to open up. Uh, I believe we we timed that one, this one, that one there to like four seconds. Is it? That yeah, is I correct. believe that was four seconds to bring up. All right. What happened? Are we zoomed out or something? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, that that was quite a bit more than that. Um, so anyway, this is a this is a drawing, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop here, and I'm gonna go back to my laptop, and we'll time it out there. Okay, so we're back at my desk again. We're looking at the uh, at AutoCAD. Uh, it's the same program Michael Jones has at his desk. This is AutoCAD Lite 2013, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna time this out and uh, fire it up and see how long it takes to load. Now, the difference between Michael Jones and this computer in the meantime is uh, this is a Core 2 Duo uh, 2.1 gigahertz processor with 3 gigs of RAM um, whereas Michael Jones has a, a, a Core i5 which is a quad core processor with uh, 2.5 gigahertz and 4 gigs of RAM. Um, we're timing this out here. This this program opens up in 40 seconds is what it opens. Okay, and uh, you see we're fully loaded now at this time. Okay, now we're going to open up the uh, the same uh, layout that uh, Michael Jones had as well. And uh, as you know, we, we had initially timed him at four seconds opening this up, but as you noticed in our last video that uh, it took him probably 10 seconds or more to open it up. And you're going to notice in this one here, it will open in about a second or two. Ready? So here we go. Open one Mississippi. So that opened up in one second. Um, again, uh, the only significant difference here between his machine and mine uh, is the SSD hard drive. Obviously, he has more RAM. He has more, uh, uh, more processors and, and faster processors than this machine has. However, just because of the SSD upgrade, this system is performing substantially better than his is at all. Um, again, Michael Jones's uh, system was opening up AutoCAD LT in about 1 minute 10 seconds. And it took between 4 and 10 seconds for him to load this diagram up. Um, so uh, that concludes our performance testing for AutoCAD.